So hi Leslie, we're down here today at the caves, uh, your uh, famous uh, fossil gathering area and why is this so significant to Australia and the rest of the world? Well this site is so significant because it's one of only a handful of early Cretaceous polar dinosaur sites in the world and so that makes it particularly significant because these are animals that lived in a very extreme climate and we still today don't know how they managed to survive but they did and they lived for millions of years and uh, they're, they're very special and this particular site is also important because it's the site of where we have found some uh, tiny mammals the size of mice that have thrown the theory that mammals evolved in the northern hemisphere up uh, on its head and the fact that probably they actually uh, evolved in Gondwana and some of them actually lived here. So this area wasn't the coast at all, was it back 125 million years ago? We were actually connected to Antarctica here. We certainly were and in fact Australia was much further south than it is today. Melbourne is about 38 degrees south whereas 126 million years ago when these animals were living here this area was about 75 to 80 degrees south and so very much still attached to Antarctica and within the Antarctic Circle. So uh, for in the winter the sun would set and not come up for six to eight weeks and conversely in the summer the sun would not set for six to eight weeks. So it was a very extreme environment and one that does not exist today. And what happened to the dinosaurs? Well that's a very good question. We know that the majority of them uh, were wiped out at some time around 66 million years ago. Um, of course the birds are still around and they are actually a group of flying dinosaurs. We don't know what happened to the Australian dinosaurs because we don't have that age rock preserved anywhere in Australia. So I'd like to think that they kept going because they were pretty hardy, but we just don't know. And uh, uh, this is one of the main reasons why you've been awarded uh, the Order of Australia Medal and, and what does that mean to you? Oh, look, it is such an honour. It's something that I never imagined would happen. Um, I'm, I was very proud and honoured last year when they announced that Coolasuka's Clelandi uh, became the Victorian state fossil emblem and then to have the honour of a, an OAM on top of that uh, is just beyond my imagination. And how exciting that this part of Victoria is so central to dinosaur discovery in Australia. Uh, it, it, it is essential to, to dinosaur discovery. There's nowhere else in Australia where you get a group of, of animals all together um, because it's not just the dinosaurs, it's not just the mammals, it's all the other animals that were uh, living at the same time that we find evidence of. So the diversity of the, gr of the groups of animals that were here at the time is, is um, it's unique to Australia. Well, thank you, Leslie, and congratulations. Thank you very much.